in so many ways we are trying to attach ourselves to Hashem Idbarach and to do the right thing in every step of the way. Sometimes we feel a very strong connection and sometimes we do not. Sometimes we feel rejected, we feel isolated, we feel disappointed from many prayers that we don't see them being answered. And there is a very, very interesting, very special <clears throat> and interesting piece in the Zohar Kadosh that is talking about three kinds of prayer. One prayer is the prayer of Moshe, Tefillah le Moshe. One second prayer is the prayer of David, Tefillah le David. And the third kind of prayer is Tefillah le Ani, the prayer of the poor. And the Zohar Kadosh is saying that maybe I can try and read it from inside. I will read the translation. So the Zohar Kadosh is saying about the poor that that poor person is considered one of the broken vessels of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, of the Creator, and he is fighting and arguing always in his prayer with Hashem. The poor person is fighting with Hashem in his prayers. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu listens and hears his words when he's praying. And then when he's praying, HaKadosh Baruch Hu opens all the windows of the sky and all the rest of the prayers that are rising, the prayer of the poor is rejecting them. They are waiting secondary in line. Why? Because he has a broken heart. Like that it's written, Tefillah le'ani ki ya'atof. The poor person is praying to Hashem, and when he's praying to Hashem, he's covering himself, wrapping himself in his prayer. So it means that he's wrapping himself alone with Hashem because he does not have no one else to count on but Hashem. And that prayer is rejecting and make all the rest of the prayers in the world to wait. And that prayer is entering in front of Hashem. And Hashem is saying, may all the rest of the prayers, means the prayer of Moshe and the prayer of David, wait until the prayer of the poor will enter in front of me. And I don't want to see here in his place, in Hashem's place in heavens, no courthouse to judge between us. Just that the poor will stand in front of me and claim all his claims. And only me and him will be here alone on our own. And then HaKadosh Baruch Hu is alone with those claims in the prayers of the poor. Like that it's written in the next part of the verse, ولفני, ولفני That he will pour his heart in conversation in front of Hashem. In front of Hashem and not in front of no one else. And all the army of the sky, all the angels are asking those to those, what HaKadosh Baruch Hu is doing? What is He busy with right now? And they're answering each other, that he is alone in passion with his broken vessels and no one can understand the great results that is taking place out of that prayer, of that poor, and from all his claims. Because there is no other passion and desire for the poor in his life but when he cries in tears expressing his claims in front of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And there is no passion and love to HaKadosh Baruch Hu similar to that one when he receives the claims of the poor when they are being poured in front of him. And that is the prayer that makes all the rest of the prayers wait. And all of that is talking about the 
prayer of a poor person who is just simply poor in physicality. And even more so when the poor person is poor in wisdom and he's aware to himself. And then he is praying and asking from Hashem to feed him and to support him spiritually and emotionally. Now we're finding ourselves so many times in pain, in struggle, in challenges and difficulties. And we do not understand the great opportunity of talking to Hashem from that place. And this is the main thing that we need to do. To remind ourselves in every point of our life that from that place we should grow. We should aim to rise and to climb and to achieve and to come closer and closer and closer to Hashem. And never to let the obstacles and the challenges reject us and push us away. Just always to come closer to Hashem in another simple prayer, in another simple test of us believing in Him and counting on Him and putting our trust in Him and talking to Him like we talk to our best friend and begging Him to help us and to assist. And this is the great passion and His joy to see that His child is coming in front of Him and opening His heart in honesty and expressing His feelings. That this is the main thing that we can do in our lives, to be truthful, to be honest, to be loyal, to be sincere. And from that place of honesty and truth, only goodness can appear, can come. Only good things can grow and can, and can conquer the world and cover all darkness with great light of kindness, of great unconditional love of our Maker that cares for us and is desiring our hopes and our prayers for them to be fulfilled. And no one can understand how great they are, those honest prayers. Like the verse is saying that Hashem is close to everyone that will call Him with truth. And that's why we need to be truthful. Always, always, always to be truthful, to be honest. And not to put ourselves in darkness with low self-esteem, thinking on ourselves in a negative way. Remember you have a godly soul within. Your body is only a holy chariot, is a vehicle to take you from one place to the next. But inside of you, a portion of godliness from above is blessing you from within. An inner connection to infinity, an endless channel to the sea of all souls, to an inter, inner eternal connection to ancient wisdom that is endless. The endless archives, our inner archives, and with deep meditation and with deep and honest prayers, you can reach them. The depths of your soul is the real true maker of the universe. Please connect yourself to Hashem in prayer with an honest, simple prayer using your vocabulary, simple words that express your feelings and your emotions in the deepest and most honest way. That is the highest way, this is the highest aspect of prayer, individual prayer that is called Hidbodedut. And may Hashem answer all our prayers and all our requests in no time and mainly to help our self-esteem to rise from the gutters for us to remember exactly who we are and from which holy source we've been carved out from. And may our prayers show us the unconditional love of our Maker and bring us happy, strong and healthy, united with all the rest of our people in front of Hashem, in His house, to serve Him in an eternal and blessed way for the rest of our lives. Amen. Can you hear